what if you stop taking sitagliptin remember please continue to take sitagliptin as long as your doctor prescribes it so that you can continue to help control your blood sugar in a better and effective way you should not stop sitagliptin unless you talk to your doctor if you have any further questions on use of sitagliptin definitely you should ask your doctor whatever the questions may be what are the possible side effects of sitagliptin well like all medicines sitagliptin can cause side effects but it's not necessary that all of you or everybody can get them however the common side effects of sitagliptin like other dpp4 inhibitors include gastrointestinal problems like nausea diarrhea stomach pain flu like symptoms like headache runny nose or sore throat skin reactions that is painful skin followed by a red or purple rash if you have a reaction which causes difficulty in breathing or a very severe skin reaction please call for medical help dpp4 which i told you earlier have been inhibitors what i'm saying is they have been linked with an increased risk of pancreatitis and therefore pancreas lies in the abdomen in the upper abdomen and therefore if you experience severe pain in your upper abdomen which may be accompanied by nausea and or vomiting then immediately contact your doctor stop taking sitagliptin and contact the doctor immediately if you come across very serious side effects like severe and persistent pain in the upper abdomen which might go to your back with or without nausea and vomiting because this can be dangerous warning of pancreatitis if you have serious allergic reactions like rash or hives or blisters on the skin then there can be peeling of the skin swelling of the face lips tongue etc etc or if there is difficulty in swallowing these are all serious side effects immediately contact your doctor some patients may experience more or different side effects if in addition to sitagliptin they are taking another anti diabetic medicine like uh, metformin or insulin or sulfonylurea etc etc so whatever may be the case you should contact your doctor the reporting of the side effects of doctor of the of the molecule is very paramount how to store sitagliptin first of all keep sitagliptin out of the sight and reach of small children please do not use sitagliptin after the expiry date which is stated on the blister strip or carton sitagliptin does not require a special storage condition but please see to it that it is not kept in a very uh, very humid or uh, very hot conditions do not throw away the medicines via waste water or household waste how are sitagliptin tablets available in the market each sitagliptin 25 or 50 or 100 mg it's a film coated tablet contains sitagliptin phosphate monohydrate that's the salt equivalent to 25 or 50 or 100 mg of sitagliptin and it's available in strips of either 7 tablets or 10 or 15 or 28 depending upon the company which is marketing it so uh, at the end i may say that i hope that this information regarding sitagliptin a very important dpp4 inhibitor molecule which is used in the oral management of diabetes mellitus will be useful to you when you are taking the tablet thank you